you queer cats or tone setters The same reason my main legion of wrong wetters With long cheddar, mixed with lines written No time slipping, when we rhyme spitting Divine mission, since the house days G.A. Grandma left DJ Tanner outrage The South stays, about that Beretta clapping Lines balanced with Head on over to Spotify and all other streaming platforms to check out the No Mercy TV podcast. Yo, what's good, y'all? No Mercy. Trap New York shit. No Mercy TV.com. You know what time it is, man. Uh, Resurrection, man. Do or die battle league. Shout out to Battle Rap Trap. Dope event that went down in the DMV this past weekend. Um, Y'all see I did the, the Rider vs. Uh, Drugs recap. I just wanted to recap the rest of the event because I actually missed it, but salute D out of Henny Man. Sent me the link. Let me watch the whole joint so I can give y'all my thoughts on, you know, all the other battles that happened. So, um, <clears throat> let's start from the very beginning, man. Um, Northeast Tay versus King H. Now, um, I didn't get to watch the third round of this battle, but the first two rounds were really good. The first two rounds were really good. Um, I had it 1-1. Going into the third, um, I gave King H the first round. I gave Northeast Tay the second. And um, I like the fact that both of them talk that street shit, like, very well. It's just that they have different ways of conveying it. You understand? Um, I feel like King H is a little more aggressive and a little more witty at the same time. Whereas Northeast Tay, he got more of, like, a kind of sarcastic but still got a little bit of like a performance aspect to it like his, his shit come off like a little bit more funny and all that you feel me um he did have a a slight slip up in the second round but his second round he was going off you feel me but just because of the slip up i have to get that second to um king h and they both had good first rounds but i actually edged um northeast tay the first round. So, you know, I didn't get a chance to watch the third, but I'm definitely going to watch that, you know, once the um, full battle drops. But overall, that that was definitely a good battle. That was definitely a good battle. I definitely felt like the crowd might have been sleeping on um, some of the material, probably because they were, you know, the lesser known guys on the card. But I've been knowing about these guys for years and they both put on. You feel what I'm saying? So, you know, um, salute to both of them. Shout out to Kells. I know they both. Um, K, wait, is it KMM or K? K KMM, yeah, KMM, I'll fall. You feel me? But um shout out to all of them. Definitely um good performance from both of them. You feel me? The opening night. Uh Venom versus Rebel. <laughs> yo. I'ma keep it a buck, yo. I said in this battle that Rebel was gonna catch a 30, and he did. You understand? Um I don't know what it is with Venom, man. I'm just not seeing no improvement. Like, from when I first started seeing him a few years back, you know, had him on a trap and everything. Um, till now, it's just like, personally, I just don't feel like he got it. I just don't feel like he got it. Like, just keeping it all the way a buck. Um, after a certain amount of time, it's like, if you don't show no improvement, where are you going to go? You feel me? Except for continuing to battle locally and not really elevate that much. You feel me? Like, I'm, I'm watching this battle and, um... The second round, Venom had a couple of good spots. You understand? But overall, it just still wasn't enough. You know, Venom, I mean, Rebel, like I said before, this nigga's a killer. Like, this nigga been putting on, you know, throughout um, the different leagues in Maryland. He done been to the trap and put on. Like, um, Rebel kind of has a certain, a certain level of experience in terms of being in different environments, being in hostile environments, dealing with different crowds. <clears throat> and knowing what works you feel me so <clears throat> battling somebody like venom who you know he he's cool ball wise but not really nothing crazy yeah it wasn't gonna be <clears throat> i don't know how venom expected to get around you feel me but um rebel just went crazy all three um, you even see the, the the hints of star power in there, like when he's opening the rounds, asking him if he's gay and stuff like that, like just pointing out the different things about Venom that's pretty much keeping him stagnant. You feel me? And 
Venom has to improve on these things. Like, he got to be a little more aggressive. He got to improve his delivery. Even his bars are just not that crazy. You understand what I'm saying? So this this was a clear 30. Like, this, nowhere near close. You feel me? So um, salute to both of them. But Rebel, yeah, Rebel got this on three zip. You understand? Um, Henny Man versus XL. This was a good battle. Um, I called it XL 2-1, right? Um, I gave XL the first round. I gave Henny Man the second. Henny Man was straight snapping in the second. You feel me? I felt like XL did have a cool second, but I felt like Henny Man um, not only had a longer round, but he also, you know, was just overall more consistent in the second. You feel me? But the third, I wound up giving to XL. And XL just continues to have just them, them, them crazy fire punches like his first was crazy to me his first was probably was his first the best round in the battle it's a toss-up between excel's first and henny man's second those were my two you know favorite rounds about the battle but um henny man he just continued to show that he not wanted to be played with you feel me like just constantly continuing to approve to improve over time um he he keeps in the in the content lane of just the street shit that his fans like to hear. Like if you in tune to do a die battle league in his battles, or if you tune the in tune the battle rap trap and they gritty uh the movies and the interviews and you know how they give it up on that front, you'll know that when Henny Man is on stage and he's rapping, he's rapping for the people that's into that type of shit. You understand? And I like how he translates everything else he does into, you know, the battles. Like he might not be the most uh, witty or over the head battler, but in terms of content, like he talks that street shit that niggas from the trenches would want to hear. You understand? And um, his second round, he was just going crazy all through it with that. You feel what I'm saying? So that that was definitely a good showing from both of them. Um, then the last battle, you know, aside from the Rider vs. Drug, which I already recapped, Cuban versus Bill Collector. This was an interesting battle. This is an interesting battle. Uh, Cuban was definitely dope, and it was a one rounder. Um, C Cuban was definitely dope. Um, he definitely showed that he's capable of standing in there with somebody with star power. Um, I definitely would have liked to see a little bit more in terms of just creativity and how, you know, people approach Bill Collector. Cause you know, everybody that battled Bill Collector, they got jokes about him getting punched. They got a show out bar, et cetera, et cetera. And I'm not one of them people that be like, Yo, I'm tired of hearing that angle. Like, if it's creative and it's fire, then cool. But, you know, if it's not, then that's when, to me, it just kind of gets repetitive because it's just like, yo, you're not really doing anything to make a difference within the angle. But Cuban, he did have, you know, a couple of dope spots in there where I was like, okay, he's taking somewhat of a different approach to this whole thing. But Bill, <clears throat> Bill, um, I felt like he started out a little slow, like, Cuban was consistent. Bill, I want to say like the first maybe third of his round, the, the first one third of his round was like okay-ish. And then he got to a point where he started turning up and just started going crazy. Like when he had the um the, the Rubik's Cube bar, that was that was retarded. Uh something about uh Rubik's Cube, uh make a different move on the square every time, or something like that. That was crazy. That was definitely crazy. Um, it was a one round battle, so it was really hard to judge. Um, I don't really have a clear winner. Like I said, I felt like Cuban was just a little more consistent throughout his round, and then Bill, he really didn't turn up till possibly about midway through. You understand? And then after that, he just you know kind of went crazy. So, but you know, overall, these were some good battles. These are definitely some good battles, you know. And I know um when they actually get released, like on the footage, these are gonna look crazy. You feel what I'm saying? So um, let me know what y'all think in the comments if y'all happen to catch the event. But um, salute the Battle Rap Trap. You know, um, do a die Battle League, everything they're doing over there. And um, yeah, man, shit, they keep on putting out fire cars like this. I'm going to keep on covering them. You understand what I'm saying? So salute to them. And let me know what y'all think in the comments. And I'll holla at y'all soon, man. No mercy. Trap New York shit. No mercy TV.com. I'm out of here.